Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this rational equation. It's called a rational equation because it has uh, fractions. So we're looking for w and so the goal here is to find it. So a good first step in solving rational equations is to figure out what you can multiply both sides by in order to get rid of the fractions. So uh, if you multiply by w, you'll just get rid of the w over here and you'll still have the w squared over here on the left. But if you multiply by w squared, you'll be able to get rid of all of the w's. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's multiply both sides by w squared. So w squared times the left hand side, so 3 over w squared, is equal to w squared times the right hand side, so 2 plus 1 over w. Again, just multiplying both sides, by w squared. So here you see they cancel right away. So this is 3 and that's equal to. So now we'll distribute the w squared. So w squared times 2 is going to be um, 2 w squared and then plus and then w squared times 1 over w is going to give us uh, looks like just uh, w right because one of the w's will cancel. Oh, this is interesting. We have a quadratic equation in W. So whenever you have a quadratic equation, that means there's a 2, um, you want to set it equal to 0 to solve it. So let's subtract 3 from both sides. So we have 2W squared plus W minus 3, and this is equal to 0. So now we have to try to factor this. This is interesting. I did not expect uh, the problem to be like this. So uh, we could do it by guessing or we could do it uh, by using something called the AC method. Let's use the AC method uh, because it should work. So the AC method says you take this number here, which is your A, so 2, and you multiply it by this one, which is your C, so negative 3, and you see what you get. So you get negative 6. So this means that we need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and that add to whatever number's in the middle here. So there's a 1 here, so they need to add to 1. So again, recap. To use the AC method, you multiply this number here and this number here, and you get the answer. Then you say, OK. You need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to 1. So 3 and 2 multiply to 6, so I'll write those down. And one of them has to be negative because we want them to multiply to negative 6, but at the same time it has to add to 1. So that means the smaller one has to be negative because if you add 3 and negative 2, you'll notice you get 1. So that'll work. So now what you do is you come back to your quadratic equation, so 2w squared and you just put w's in front of these numbers. So plus 3w minus 2w. And what you've basically done is you've rewritten this middle piece as 3w minus 2w is 1w. Then we have our minus 3 here. So it's a really, really powerful technique. Again, this is called the AC method. So now we can use factor by grouping. So we look at the first two terms. Looks like we can pull out a w. So we have w parentheses 2w plus 3. So pick two terms, the first two, and pull out the greatest common factor. In this case, it's w. And then over here, we can pull out a negative 1. That leaves us also with, again, 2w plus 3. Yeah, it looks okay. Negative 1 times 2w is negative 2w. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. And this is equal to zero. And now we can factor out the 2w plus 3. So 2w plus 3. So you write it down and then you write the parentheses and then you ask, okay, what goes here? So what do you have to multiply by 2w plus 3 in order to get w times 2w plus 3? Well, well, w, that's what's missing. And then over here it's a little bit easier to see. You're just missing a minus 1. And that's equal to zero. We have a product equal to zero, so we set each factor equal to zero. All right, and to solve the first equation, we subtract three, subtract three. So 2w equals negative three, 
and then just divide by the 2. So w is equal to negative 3 over 2. That's one of our answers in this problem. And over here we add 1, and so w is equal to 1. Going a little bit fast here, and that would be the final answer. So this problem I thought was going to be much shorter. Uh, it turned out to be a little bit longer, mainly because uh, we ended up with a quadratic equation. Right? We started by clearing the fractions, and then when we got here to the quadratic equation, really important to remember that you want to set it equal to zero and then try to factor. We use the AC method to factor and we ended up with uh, two solutions. I hope this video has been helpful.